Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server using Python. Right, so this is a question I get pretty often asking, how do we connect to Microsoft SQL Server using Python? Right, so here uh, I already have my VS Code open, as well as my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Right, so first we need to figure out the uh, server name from Microsoft SQL Server database. In my SQL Server Management Studio, I'm going to type select uh, to add symbols, server name. Then I'll run this statement to get the uh, server name to my database. Then I'll go into my VS Code or my code editor. Then I'm going to import the PYPYODB library. And this is the library we use uh, to work with the ODBC connection manager. And you may see a different library called PYODBC. Essentially, those two libraries are almost identical, except that some of the usage are a little different. And I'm going to uh, name the uh, module ODBC. And you can install the library using the command pip install PYPYODBC. Next, we need to uh, create the driver name and the server name as well as the database name. So for the driver name, it's going to be SQL Server. And for the server name, it's going to be the server name that we retrieve from this uh, server name statement. So I'm going to copy my server name and assign the name to server name variable. Then we need to figure out uh, which database we want to access. In my database, I have uh, several databases and I want to connect to my JJ database. So I'll create another variable called database. Actually, I'll do database name. And this is going to be JJ. Now we need to create a connection string to pass to the uh, ODBC or PYPY ODBC library to set up the connection. And let's name the variable connection string. I'm going to make that as a uh, F string. And I'll wrap the uh, string or the connection string with uh, double quotations. All right, so the first property we need to provide is the driver. And I'm going to insert three sets of curly brackets. Then I'm going to pass the driver name variable. And make sure that I insert the semicolon at the end. The next property is going to be the server. I'll just going to be the server name. And here I'm going to insert one set of curly bracket. Then I'm going to insert the driver name variable. I'm going to insert a semicolon at the end. And the last item is going to be the database name. And the property name is going to be database. And again, I'm going to insert one set of uh, curly bracket. I'm going to insert the variable name. And curly bracket at the end. And this step is pretty important. We need to make sure that we set the trust connection value to true. Actually not to, to yes. If we log in with a username and a password, then we'll need to uh, add two more properties. One is the UID property, and it's going to be your username. And for the password, it's going to be PWD. And because uh, for my login, I don't need to provide the password and the username, so I'm going to uh, leave those two on the top. And I'll come out these two lines. And once I created my connection string, I can now connect to my SQL Server database by referencing the ODBC uh, module that connects. And I'll pass the connection string. And I'll name the output as connection, C-O-N-N. -N. And I'll print the connection string. All right, so I'm going to uh, pass a file to run the script. And here's my connection string object output. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.